Hey everybody, here's my new Sky Hunter. Uh, just kidding, this is my new one. Uh, this is my original one. You may have remembered my video. Unfortunately, it um, had a, a went into the ground probably about 60 or 70 miles an hour, and uh, this is what's left to it. Um, honestly, I probably could have repaired this with some boiling water and uh, some CA. Uh, the wings were actually in really good shape, but um, I just decided to go ahead and build another one. Um, this is my Mark II Sky Hunter. You can see I've got the chicken sashimi graphics on there. Um, this is actually a kit for the Zephyr. I think it's like the Amperage kit. But uh, I kind of have it like backwards and upside down. So I have that part on the top and uh, that part on the bottom. I think it looks cool. It looked like kind of like a, a bird's wings or something from underneath. Um, but yeah, so there's a few changes uh, from the last one. Um, I'll start back here. Uh, don't mind the antenna, I just had it untaped because well, i got to slide the tray out. Um, but this is the motor I'm running. It's a prop drive, 3548-900kV motor. Uh, this is a really good motor uh, for the price. It's got tons of power, and um, honestly, I haven't measured the amperage on it yet. It's uh, running a 12 by 6 prop, but it cruises really nice at like 40, 45, and it'll go uh, uh, 65, 70 maybe even 80 miles an hour. Um, so it's got tons of power, uh, which is good, because then I want to use this to lift a lot of weight, um, do some experiments, some payload uh, type things. Um, but yeah, so let's go inside. I'm running um, 1.3 gigahertz on it this time, just for ease of wiring. I didn't want to deal with um, a five volt, 2.4 transmitter and a uh, 12 volt camera so I just ran the 12 volt tr uh, video transmitter and I think I'm going to put a 2.3 gig transmitter on this thing. Um, the 1.3 is good but here in the Denver area we're actually getting like a new they were just upgraded a radar so now we get this like blip on our FPV screens on 1280 especially bad but also the other 1.3 channels we get this blip every 12 seconds um, it just really sucks it's like a 2000 watt radar dish out there or something but anyway this is inside um you can see i got an apm 2.5 on this thing um that's pretty cool i haven't messed with it much um but i've just got it working uh, pretty well i'm um, doing basic stabilized flight and return to launch um stuff like that they got a lot of cruise modes um stupid modes that uh help you fly um like if you want to do a long range flight and stuff. So I want to do that. I want to do some autonomous missions. Um, we've got the range link receiver. You can see I made this little capacitor pack um, just because I noticed on my quad um, I had onboard charging on my GoPro and I noticed that every time that I plugged that in or out like I would have a momentary brownout on my receiver and sometimes like a motor would come on or like things would happen. Um, so I'm, I was thinking maybe the APM doesn't have the best um, like power delivery system and uh, maybe it's struggling a little bit so I put a cap pack on this end also because I've got the pan and tilt a big a pan servo and tilt um, so I wanted to have uh, extra energy in case those needed it um, but other than that I like how the Sky Hunter lets you be modular everything's just velcroed down um, you got the minimum OSD and you can see I've got the Y in the telemetry line there because I'm running the APM telemetry down here um, so that'll be cool. I just put it inside. There's really no reason to put that outside and, uh, I'm not going for max range on this yet. Just testing. And, um, I don't know. It puts off some noise. It interferes with the UHF, but this is pretty good enough separation and I'm just using it to test. So that'll be fine. Um, I might move that on later for really long range missions or something, but probably not. Um, I use the same module on my, uh, quad with APM too, so I, I like to have it removable. But right now I've just got a, a 5800 battery in there. Uh, that's new, usually I run 5000s, but this one I saw a good deal on it, so I grabbed that and um, just have a, a beeper in there uh, to monitor voltage, because still don't really trust the APM voltage sensor. I haven't, I tried calibrating like 100 times, but um, still not quite accurate. This is uh, the same canopy I had from the last one um, it actually got ejected and, or no I'm sorry um, 
the one canopy I had before got smashed. This one wasn't in the crash, so this one's totally fine. Um, yeah, so another thing I did with this is um, just trying to keep things streamlined, trying, trying to keep things modular. I stuck the GPS module up under there. Um, it's actually unplugged. This is the wire that plugs in. Um, but yeah, the GPS module's up under there. Uh, yeah, it works fine. Um, it goes through that plastic and foam, no problem. Um, it's back there on the back, away from, uh, not, it's pretty close to this, but um, I haven't had any interference problems with the 1.3 that close. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been working well back there. You can see I've got my uh, Castle ESC in there, Castle uh, Phoenix Ice, and it's damaged <laughs> and it's been repaired because um, that thing got smashed up in the crash, but it's still still kicking, man. Those things are tough. Um, the plastic case got broken, but everything else is pretty good. So that's in there. Uh, these are just quick connections for the ailerons, um, the elevator, and then I have a cable for the airspeed sensor because I just installed that today. Um, an airspeed sensor uh, out on the wing. Um, I didn't have that on there before, and it was like in all the uh, like dogs got to go to bark. Um, but uh, yeah, I didn't have that on there before, and it's not the greatest. Um, I need to also tune the throttle that the APM uses, but I'm excited to use that um, just for more accurate readings. But yeah, and then I put just some color up here. Uh, so that friends can find me for some formation flying. Um, so yeah, that's about it. So uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.